Today we'll unbox and set up the Engwe M20 electric bike. Let's get started. Open the box and you will find the bicycle itself and three small boxes containing the headlights, battery charger, pedals, user manual, utility bag, and all the essential tools required for assembling the bike. Remove the bike from the box and carefully undo the cable ties. Detach the front wheel from the bike frame and set it aside. Use a 4mm hex wrench to remove the four screws that secure the front attachment to the stem. Gently place the handlebar in a position that doesn't twist the cables. Install the front attachment as shown. Adjust the handlebar to your desired position for maximum comfort. Firmly tighten the four screws to secure the front attachment and handlebar in place. Utilize the 15 wrench to detach the provisional axle from the fork. Prepare the axle and gasket as shown. With the bicycle upside down, attach the wheel into the fork, ensuring that the brake disc aligns with the brake caliper pads. Finally, use the 14mm wrench to tighten the bolt. To ensure the wheel spins freely, make the necessary front brake adjustments as demonstrated. Place the left pedal and make sure to have the one marked with the letter L on it. Screw it counterclockwise onto the crank by hand. Then tighten firmly using the 15 mm wrench. The pedal marked with the letter R should be screwed on in a clockwise direction. Then make sure to tighten it securely with the same wrench. Using a 5 mm hex wrench, unscrew the three screws located on the front fork. Position the mudguard in place and reinsert the screws and tighten them securely. Arrange and position the headlights in their intended location. Secure the support arms firmly using the 10 mm wrench. Adjust the lights to your desired direction using a 13 mm wrench. Finally, connect the wires and hide them within the headlamp shell. Adjust the brake levers to a comfortable riding position by loosening them. Move the gear shifter to the desired position. Attach the utility bag to the top bar and use the Velcro straps to secure it firmly. To avoid electric damage, start by removing the main battery. Detach the utility bag to reveal the battery support plate. Use a 10 mm wrench to carefully remove the cushion's four bolts. Remove the cushion and detach the wire plug from the battery. Install the battery splitter device and connect the cables as shown. Place the battery support in position and tighten the three screws firmly. Attach the battery in its proper position to see if it fits properly. Remove the battery again and connect the final plug to the second battery wire. Attach both batteries in their correct positions and turn on the bike to test the second battery installation. If the bike works as intended, seal the connectors using insulating tape and place the controller and cables inside the case. Put the cushion back in place and securely tighten the four screws. Lock the batteries in place for a safe ride and turn the bike on. You can switch between the batteries by activating each one or having both active. Your bike is now ready to use.